Hey guys, on today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to update your iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch to the latest iOS 11.1. So this, if you have an iPhone uh, 6S, for example, or 7, it's going to bring back 3D touch multitasking. So if you don't know what that is, it's something that you used before where you press the side of your screen and that way you can just access all the other apps that you have open. Anyways, so that's what's gonna happen once we update. So let's just go right into settings. Under settings, for this, you guys should definitely make a backup on your iCloud or on iTunes on your computer. So I highly suggest doing that because it does take a little bit. And um, if something happens, you could um, have to restore your whole thing. So that means everything's going to get erased. And then if you have a backup, then you just get it back, right? But if you guys don't have a backup and you restore, then you're in trouble. Anyways, let's just get down to it. Let's just go right into general. Under general, you guys are going to see second option where it says software update. Under there, we should see this loading up. So it's going to take a little bit. Checking, checking. There we go. So first, it's going to download, then install. So I'm going to click on download. Once it's downloaded, you guys can press uninstall now or later. So installation process shouldn't take too long. Now we looked at that downloading process only took five minutes. However, it could be faster for you guys. Again, it's about your internet speed. On average, I would say anywhere from two to five minutes max. Then what we're gonna see is the installing process, all right? So this will bring up an Apple logo. So it's gonna be bring a black screen, white screen, Apple logo, loading bar. It's just gonna do that the one time. Once the loading bar goes all the way, then it's gonna turn off again, on again. It's gonna ask you for your passcode if you have one to go into your iPhone, iPad, Apple Touch. If you don't have one, you can just go right into it. It's not gonna ask you for your Apple ID, so I know some of you always ask me that, and in this case, it won't. So you don't have to worry about that. Just make sure that you have that backup before you did do this, like I said, at least 50% of your battery just in case have we plugged in some electricity and you should be good anyways apart from that you guys are getting your 3d touch back which is great um what i meant by 3d touch by the way it's the 3d touch multitasking uh you're getting that back and that's that's the big news for me anyways i'm repeating that i know again and again anyways that's it for this video tutorial if you guys have any questions comments you can write them down here below in the comments area and don't forget to subscribe and rate thank you